This is the most costly mistake that you can make when selling your Colorado home. Now, tens of thousands of dollars have been lost by getting the price piece wrong from the start. Hey, hey, it's Bobby Freo with the Just Living Realty Group, your Denver Metro and Vail High Country real estate guy. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome, so take notes and I want you to feel great about our time together today. Not only do I like making these videos, but I would love to help another great family just like you with your real estate needs. So are you ready to roll? Oh, and if you have questions about your home's value or wanna chat, check the comments or the description to book a meeting. And by the end, you're gonna understand how to price your home perfectly and maximize your profit, ensuring a smooth and successful sale. Now, first things first, pricing your Colorado home is like navigating a tightrope. You need a steady balance between logic and intuition. While researching similar properties and understanding the market trends, that's obviously a good idea, but there's also that gut feeling that you're gonna get about your home's value. Now, ideally, the price you set should hit a sweet spot attracting eager buyers, maximizing your profit, and getting you out of the door quickly. And let's face it, when it comes to buying a house, price is king. It's usually the first filter most buyers use to narrow down their home search, and ultimately your asking price sets the stage for negotiations. Now sure, you can put a price tag on your home, but remember the true value is ultimately determined by the market and the buyers. Now here's a pro tip for you. Don't let your heart overrule your head. Overpricing can definitely backfire, leaving your house sitting on the market longer and potentially costing you more money in the long run. So you wanna kinda of think of it this way. The price is like the magic key that unlocks a smooth and successful sale. It helps you sell faster with less hassle and exposes your home to a much wider pool of interested buyers. And realtors, they're gonna be more motivated to show your property if it meets you know, pricing characteristics that they think with their interested buyers. And both online inquiries and your signage in the yard is gonna help create eyeballs and get clicks and engagement on your property. And this often leads to higher offers and more money in your pocket. What truly matters is how your home compares to the competition. All their houses currently on the market and those recently sold in your neighborhood. And buyers are gonna be making these comparisons, so understanding the local market landscape is very important. By pricing your home competitively, you ensure that it stands out amongst similar properties, attracting those serious buyers and generating genuine interest. So pricing your Colorado home correctly isn't just about getting the highest number, it's about finding the sweet spot that attracts qualified buyers, maximizes your profit potential, and gets you moving on to the next chapter more efficiently and quickly. Now let's talk about the pitfalls of let's say overpricing your property. Now it's really easy to fall into this trap for various reasons, but you gotta put some trust in a professional here that it's a mistake that you want to avoid. And one common culprit is the over improvement. So you may have poured your heart and soul into renovations, but remember buyers don't always value the upgrades the same way as you do. And while some improvements can add value, others might not translate into the higher asking price. Some of those biggest defaults are below grade upgrades. They just don't fetch the same price per square foot as an above grade. And additionally, don't go too nutty on outdoor kitchens or living spaces. While they're very nice and they're a great marketing feature and they add overall enjoyment to the home, they're not gonna get the return on investment oftentimes when you go to sell. Sometimes emotions cloud our judgment and maybe you need to sell quickly due in unforeseen circumstances. Or perhaps you purchased your home in a higher priced area and haven't adjusted your expectations to the current market. These situations can lead to holding on to unrealistic price expectations and attracting harder to attract buyers. And similarly, if you paid a premium for your house when you bought it, very tempting to use that as a benchmark for your selling price. However, market conditions can change very significantly over time and basing your price solely on the original purchase price can be misleading. Another common mistake is relying on assessed value, which is often determined for tax purposes. It may not accurately reflect the true market value of your home. And additionally, some sellers fall into the trap of adding a buffer for negotiation, assuming that buyers are just gonna automatically lowball them. Now this strategy sometimes backfires deterring serious buyers who see the initial price as inflated. And sometimes sellers hold onto their homes even when a move isn't strictly necessary, which can lead to an emotional attachment, making it difficult to detach from the property and price it objectively. It's crucial and critical to separate your personal feelings from the reality of the market. 
and don't be swayed by the opinions of family and neighbors. While their input can be valuable, remember they might not have a clear understanding of the current market dynamics or the specific features that attract buyers in your area. Relying solely on their opinions can lead to overpricing your home and missing out on potential buyers. And overpricing your home can have some serious consequences, not only just for your wallet, but also the entire selling process. Think of it like putting up a giant do not enter sign in your lawn. You're unintentionally, unintentionally deterring those potential buyers and making it much harder to sell your house. The initial weeks after listing your home are the real deal, the very most important weeks. This is when you generate the most interest and have the best chance of getting qualified buyers. And pricing your home competitively creates a sense of urgency in both the agents and their clients. So making them way more likely to schedule showings and viewings and potentially getting to bidding wars. And remember buyers, they search by price range and that can make all the difference. Don't fall into the trap of starting high with the assumption that you can always reduce your price later. By the time that you make the necessary adjustments to your asking price, that initial burst of excitement may have faded on your property and potential buyers may have already moved on to other options. Another big risk of overpricing is encountering appraisal issues. We want to avoid this because if your home is valued lower than the asking price by an appraiser, it can lead to loan rejections and delays in the entire selling process, and who the heck wants that? This can be incredibly frustrating, especially if you're counting on a specific timeline for closing the deal. Even if your home boasts unique features or upgrades compared to similar properties in the neighborhood, an inflated price tag can still deter buyers from even considering it. Remember, buyers compare options, and if your house stands out for the wrong reason, being too overpriced, it might be overlooked altogether. In a prolonged listing period, due to overpricing can also raise red flags for potential buyers. They might suspect something is wrong with your property, leading to hesitation and ultimately fewer offers. And additionally, you might attract the wrong kind of buyer by doing that. And those are simply just looking for deals and they not be genuinely interested in your home at its true value. And furthermore, overpricing may significantly limit your potential pool of buyers that can offer on your home. The financial implications can really be substantial and while your house is on the market, you're still responsible for mortgage payments, property taxes, insurance, and even potential maintenance costs. These ongoing expenses obviously can quickly eat into your profits, turning what could have been a smooth and profitable sale into a more financial burden. And now let's talk about the valuable role the Just Living Realty team and I can play in navigating the pricing process. We're not just here to sell your house, we really wanna be your trusted advisors throughout this entire journey. And one of the key starting points is the comparative market analysis, the CMA for short. It's a real detailed like report card for your home. And we compare your property to very similar houses in your neighborhood that have recently sold or that are currently on the market. And the reason is by analyzing those comparable properties, we can estimate a fair market value for your home based off of factors like location, size, features, and of course, all the different varying market trends that are happening. And it's important to remember that there's no single exact price for real estate. And unlike a product with a fixed price tag, the value of your home is ultimately gonna be determined by the willingness of what a buyer is wanting to pay. However, working with us allows you to collaborate and arrive at a competitive asking price that reflects both your expectations and more of the realities of the market. And while I obviously can't dictate the market value, we can help you understand the various factors that really control and influence the perceived value of your home. And these factors include marketing time. How long are you willing to wait for that buyer? A shorter time frame might necessitate a slightly lower price to attract quicker interest. You can offer financing alternatives. Are you willing to offer seller financing or other incentives to make your home more attractive to buyers? The most common are closing cost credits or concessions to help a buyer with a lower mortgage payment or out-of-pocket costs. The condition of your home, the overall condition of your home, significantly obviously impacts its value. Addressing any necessary repairs or upgrades can potentially justify a higher asking price. Exposure method. How will you market the home? Utilizing various marketing channels and strategies can broaden the reach and attract more potential buyers. Obviously, as an agent, we also need to keep you informed about the current market trends and activity regarding variable properties. And this ongoing communications ensures that you're gonna stay up to date with market fluctuations and adjust your pricing strategy accordingly. 
And additionally, we're gonna help you estimate your net proceeds and after factoring selling costs and closing expenses, that'll give you a clearer picture of what your potential profit is. And for the people that we help, we offer assistance in determining offering incentives, such as covering closing costs as mentioned, or providing a home warranty coverage. Now these incentives can really sweeten the deal for buyers and potentially lead to a faster sale or a higher final offer. Now remember, while the market dictates the ultimate value of your home, a real estate agent is your partner in navigating the pricing process. Expertise, market knowledge, and guidance is gonna be invaluable in setting a competitive price that attracts qualified buyers and helps you achieve your selling goals. Now, don't be swayed that aid by agents that are just gonna simply promise the higher price because of what we talked about. You wanna choose an agent that prioritizes market understanding and has a strategic approach to a successful outcome. And don't forget, the Just Live in Realty group is here for you every step of the way. And whether you prefer texting, calling, emailing, you know we're just a message away. And for a quick and easy start, click the link in the description or the top pinned comment to book a free consultation right now. And while you're here, don't forget to snoop around the channel, check out one of these other videos. And we're all about making your home buying and selling journey simple and stress-free. Let's make selling your home at the right price easier. As always, get out and enjoy our Colorado sunny days. Stay sweet.